What's up guys, Joe at Momentum Works. Today I have what might be a bit of an awkward video, but we gotta talk about it. So here we go, stay tuned. So rewind to yesterday, Steven got a phone call. Someone had a question about a 17-1702 Ford Warner turbocharger, very popular, S475. Um, and he said, hey, what's the difference between the US built ones and the China built ones? And Stephen came to me, he's like, dude, do you know anything about this? And I was like, no, I mean, I know Borgwarner makes some turbos in China. The 171702 is made in the USA until today. So today we got a pal of 171702s and Colin said, hey, boss man, these say made in China. So we went and grabbed the US built 171702 and we grabbed the Chinese built 171702, both Borgwarners, no aftermarket copies. These are both genuine Borgwarners. And we're gonna take a look at these uh, smack for smack, and I'll tell you what's different, what's the same, and we'll get a little bit of a conversation about Borg Warner and Chinese manufacturing. So right off the jump here, I have the two boxes. The right side is a U.S. built Borg Warner, and the left side is a Chinese built Borg Warner. Now let's take a look at the tags here. We can see right off the bat, country of uh, country of origin, made in USA. And take a look at the serial number there. It begins with a 22A, and the build date was 12-1. Whereas when we go to the Chinese version of this Borg Warner turbocharger, again, not a Chinese knockoff. This is genuine Borg Warner. Notice the serial number has a C in front of it. I don't know if that's, you know, to signify that's from China, but right off the bat, you can see country of origin, China. What I also thought was interesting is the dates. This one was built on the 7th of December, and this one was built on the 1st of December, which would tell me that Borg Warner is likely going to be dual supplying 171702s from both China and their U.S. plants. So at first glance, these turbos look identical. And while they might fit and function the same way, they're actually very different. And you can tell that all the pieces are different or cast in a different mold because of different casting numbers. So let's first take a look at the US version of the 171702. And I want you to take note to how the casting looks here. I want you to take note of this shaft, how this shaft comes through with its hollow. And I want you to take note of the balancing marks on the wheel. Basically, they put these marks on here so when it goes in a VSR balancer, the laser can pick it up and they can figure out where it needs to be balanced, just like when you balance a tire. Now, when we come over to the Chinese built Borg Warner 171702, notice that this casting is actually a little nicer. You can see that it's actually polished, whereas this one is a more rough finish. And you can tell that these are different castings. If you look here in these inlets, you can see that they are not the same. They're slightly different. So it's definitely a different casting. Uh, even if you just look at the Borg Warner insignias, you can see that they, you know, they are slightly different. So these are definitely different casting molds that these compressor covers are being made out of. Also notice the shaft, it's a different shaft. You'll notice that this one is not uh, as hollow as the other shaft is. So let's zoom in on that shaft, look inside there and look at that shaft there. Big noticeable difference. And one thing I noticed is concerning is that I don't see any color paint marks for balancing on these. So either they use a different type of balancer that doesn't need them or it's unbalanced, but I don't think Borg Warner would be ballsy enough to put something out that's unbalanced. Uh, it's just something that I noticed and figured that I'd share. Just a little more proof that these are different castings. You can see here, no casting mark on the US built, and we see a casting mark here on the Chinese built. Same with- For the turbine housing, you can see it's stamped to 132 on the US built, and it's also stamped to 132 on the Chinese built, actually much more prominently, but the location is different. You can see it's not there, but it's there. Whereas on the US, it's there, but it's not there. Just, you know, more proving the point that these are cast from different molds. Now, just to reiterate, while these housings and these turbos are, you know, physically the same as far as sizing and how they might perform, we're just pointing out how the castings are different. The Chinese here on the left has a Borg insignia, while the US assembled one has no Borg insignia, which I find interesting. And on the turbine wheel, we can see the same thing. The US built has these paint marks from balancing, whereas the, the Chinese built does not. And like I said, they might just have a different method of balancing. We've seen things from other suppliers where we know they're balanced. And we can see that this turbo is indeed balanced because there's a balancing mark there where they shave some material off. There's just no paint mark for lasers or however Borg Warner USA is doing their balancing. So we have both of the super cores here with the exhaust housings off. Let's take a deeper look into the differences here that we 
On the left is the U.S. assembled and uh, the U.S. tagged 171702. And on the right, we have the Chinese tagged assembled 171702. So let's look specifically at the bearing housing. Take a look at the girth there. Um, we'll kind of do like a side shot here to see the material. Um, the 171702 is an S400, so it doesn't have the kind of girth that a 17 or uh, an S410SX would. But look just how much smaller it is here on the Chinese version. Look inside here. This flange is the same size on both turbos. So look at the flange here, and you can see that's in, and this housing bows out. There's a lot more material here. Whereas on the Chinese version, this flange is the same size, but there's a whole lot less material here in the bearing housing, guys. And that doesn't necessarily mean a performance difference, but you know, if they're using less material here, it might not hold up. It might not be as rigid and it might not be, um, you know, as much of a long lasting product. I don't really know. We haven't tested these yet. So we really don't know how that's gonna work out. We'll do another look around the other side here so you can get another look at the bearing housing. Again, this is the US. And then you can look here how much smaller the bearing housing is, less material on the Chinese version. And even the serial number, you can tell right away if you have a Chinese version because of the fact that it'll say made in China. China, 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 China. Borg Warner made in China. And it'll have that serial number that begins with a C for China. China, 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 China. China. And then if you go to the US version, it says made in the USA and it doesn't have the C in the serial number. China. So again, we're at that part of the video. Joe, why should we care that they're made in China? Well, first and foremost, it's a problem because it's a running chain that you know, we weren't really aware about. Uh, so we have some US built and we have some Chinese built. So there's gonna be a differentiation in the product that people are receiving. It's not necessarily that Chinese product is bad. It's just, it's not what people were used to getting. And there are some people that are gonna be a little unhappy. I mean, like I said, I said yesterday in one of my videos that I know my clientele, I do. And, you know, these guys, you know, when they see an American-made product, it makes them feel good. I mean, anybody wants to see a product made where their country is. Just like, you know, if you can give business to your neighbor, you want to do that, opposed to giving it to some guy on the other side of the world because he's your neighbor. You want to succeed together. But anyway, let's not get off track here. Uh, I don't think these are going to be bad quality turbos. I just think that it needs to be said and it needs to be shown that there are variations out there. And there's going to be a lot of variation in the market because it looks like Borg Warner is going to dual source these. Um, Bart Warner doesn't have an official answer on whether they're not they're going to do that, but judging by the dates on those, they are five or six days apart, some made in China, some made in the U.S., so I think we're going to see a lot of both of them. Look, Bart Warner making turbos in China is nothing new. They've had a plant over in Ningbo, their own plant, not a, someone they're sourcing from since like 2005 or 2006. Um, back in the early teens, like 14 or 15, 2014 or 2015, they made like their 5 million turbocharger in China. They had a big public release about it. Um, so that's nothing new. It's just the 171702, aka the S400, aka the S475, aka the most popular turbo that guys are using on their Detroits, ISXs, and everything else under the sun is now being made in China. Um, which made me prompt to look into, you know, Borg Warner as a company. And guys, they're making turbos all over the place, not just China. I got a list here. Japan, Italy, Germany, India, Luxembourg, China, France, Poland, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Brazil, Romania, South Korea, Mexico, Turkey, Sweden, Hungary, Thailand, Portugal, Singapore, Spain. Borg Warner's got 49,000 employees. They're in 22 countries and they've got 93 sites, which is basically manufacturing, testing, yada, yada, yada. They're one of the largest automotive suppliers in the world. So it's inevitable that, you know, sometimes they're going to be manufacturing things overseas. Again, that's not a problem. The quality might be great. It's just a matter that it was a bit of a shock. We weren't aware and we want to share it with you because I know we're going to get calls from customers like, hey, is this a Chinese knockoff? No, it's not a Chinese knockoff. It's just Borg Warner making 17, 1702s in China. So we'll be keeping an eye on this. Like I said, I'm sure they're going to be good quality. They are different. We have to test them out. Uh, but, you know, Borg Warner makes a good product. I don't think that they put, you know, junk out into the market. So, you know, it is what it is. So, guys, I just wanted to share this with you quick. 17, 1702 Borg Warners. Some are coming from China. Some are coming from the U.S. Um, and you don't really know what you're getting. We get a shipment of them. They might be U.S. They might be China. Um, we pointed out all the differences in them. No, don't call me and say, hey, I want a U.S. made one because we still an inventory like that. They're all the same part number. They're all 17, 1702. So basically, they go in inventory, we pick them, and we ship them. Guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if we see anything else like this, you know, we're always want to share. If there's any topics you want us to cover, let us know. We'd be happy to do it.
Guys, thanks for watching. Take care. China is nothing new. They've been doing it for a long time. They've had a huge plant in Ningbo.